Good morning. I started working on this uh, CH32 board. It lights up LED. It's remote control. And the board is uh, this uh, CH32V. I'll show you the board, the manuals, wiring diagrams, ID. Here is the wiring diagrams for the board. Scanning through, we have a switch, protection fuse, voltage regulator. The chip is actually working at 3.3 uh, volt. We have the port. The GPIO are wired to the headers on the board. We have two LEDs. The LEDs have uh, freestanding pins. That is a small header which can be physically wired to any of the GPIO. The crystals, R4, R5 are non-connected resistors. PA1, PA2 are freestanding pins on the headers. And the crystal is a 24 meg. The chip has an internal PLL. It's working at a 48 meg for fixed frequency by software. Reset button. It is good quality manual, translated in English, available in Chinese and English. We see the LED pins over here, the two uh, pin headers, the CH32 RISC-V chip, which is profile E, according to the RISC-V ar architecture. So it's actually fit with uh, 16 registers in software. The RISC-V architecture calls for 32 uh, registers and the E is uh, the microcontroller version which is a reduced number of registers in the in hardware in the chip. The USB is only for power supply of the board. The debug wire is a simple one wire interface for programming and debugging. Ground supply and Debugging is all we need with the ID for to interface and program the board and run the board. This is the exact chip we have, CH32V003F4P6. The F4P6 model is uh, this one with a 16K flash memory, 2K SRAM memory, 18 GPIO pins. It has timer, watchdog, internal PLL, ADC channels. SPI, A2C, and USART for serial communication, TSSOP and uh, QFN uh, packages with the board fit with the TSSOP version. The manual explains the hardware, the software architecture, the ID is very easy to install, very easy to use. Actually, if everything is properly wired, then you just uh, query to uh, query the link. When you download the sample project, uh, you can check uh, from any of the examples and it's a simple uh, configuration. There is no much options, just flash the chip. So the basic the default works perfectly fine. I didn't test uh, the simulation or debugging, but the manuals goes into these details, including the disassembler. The CH links provides programming, debugging, and it also provides virtual com for UART communication with the chip. We use PD5 and PD6 TXRX pins wired to the CH link corresponding pins, which you can communicate with at 115K BO. For programming, the most important files datasheet, resource manual, and processor manual. The datasheet is this 33 pages document. The features are described. The core is a RISC 5 EC profile, which stands for reduced uh, registers number and compressed uh, instruction set. The other details are given here in the datasheets. The various flavors of the chip, the internal architecture of the chip, the memory map of the chip. We have a flat map to access all peripherals registers. It is explained that we have a 2x PLL to run the chip internally at 48 meg. We have the hardware description of the chip. I will not go into all the details on this manual. So if you are interested, you will have to go into all the... We have the pinout of the chip, the pin description, the alternate function of the pins, electrical characteristics, temperature is uh, industrial standard range. Internally, the chip works at 48 meg. 
that's the clock for the internal bus. We have other charts. I didn't try to run the chip at various frequency. That's the wiring diagram they have used on the, the evaluation kit board. Clock characteristics, memory, timing, power consumption, I.O. characteristics. The chip is a reset pin, the timer, ADC characteristics with recommendations for filtering. And the type code for the products RISC 5 are based on King Key Core with different series, different connectivities, different pin numbers, flash memory sizes, and temperature range. This is the reference manual from WCH. They go into the core and the peripherals uh, description and registers. They describe RV32EC profile with the feature of the core, two level hardware stack, two level interrupt nesting. The manual is clear, well documented. The internal architecture. They use the same architecture uh, with the ARM core. We see the RISC 5 core top left, the various bus, the EHB bus, peripherals, DMA, GPIO, ADC, serial communication timers, comparator. So this is the flat map of the chip. And actually our program goes into the code flash over here, address 800,000. We don't have to configure this in the ID except select the correct chip. The program is flashed into the correct section and the correct size according to the chip we select. The ID is provided with the headers so that we can use uh, the register names for the peripherals. And we see the peripherals over here, DMA clock, serial communication configuration, all, all the peripherals over here, SRAM is accessed over here. I find the reference manual of a very good quality. This is uh, the clock with explanations on the internals, low speed clock, PLL, peripheral bus, the various registers. This manual is 184 pages. This is uh, the block for the GPIO. So the GPIO support uh, various uh, speed. They are configured in the ID. For example, I use pin C1 as a output push-pull mode. GPIO speed 50 meg. We can select 2, 10 or 50 meg. The type of GPIO is uh, input, floating, pull-down, pull-up, output, open drain, push-pull. The configuration is done through uh, a struct. In the struct, we select uh, pin uh, mode and speed, and we use GPIO init call. The IOs are multiplexed. For example, when they have a GPIO or a serial communication peripheral attached to them, I won't go into more details. The document is uh, 18 chapters. This is the processor manual. It's only 32 pages. And it describes the core. It explains over here that the E profile is the integer profile with only 16 uh, registers, and that the C stands for compressed instructions. It describes registers, interrupt, descriptions of the registers, default reset values, configurations through the register bit. This manual is short, is clearly written. Uh, that's the sample project. Uh, that's the sample project uh, I made. We enter through main, then we have the configuration for the system for GPIO. We send messages through the UART, set up the interrupt, and then it's a simple program that blinks uh, LEDs, smooth pattern, and uh, remote control. That's the output from the console. We see 99,000 seconds from the power supply. I'm, I'm presently building a, a custom uh, GUI. We have buttons to turn lights on or off. This is a C program with the SFML library. It's under construction, uh, as you can see. The program runs on Linux at the moment. And these are our push buttons. When we click on this one, we can turn on and off the LEDs. It sends comments to the chip and reads the UART back, as we can see.
that will eventually grow into a motor control board for the projects which uh, I will eventually present uh, in the future. The IDE looks uh, like this. <coughs> it's uh, not difficult to use. The back end is uh, Eclipse Editor. We see the configuration and uh, download for to flash the product. We click Query over here. We see that the chip is uh, selected as the right chip for the evaluation kit. The program address, we cannot change it. Clock speed. Over here we can over here we can query the status, which is code protection is actually disabled. Enable code protection for write only to prevent a readback of the program. When we want to program the chip, we click download over here. Let me do it again. It's now running 30 seconds. Let me program again. That's how fast it is. Program. Finished. Boot. It prints the system clock. Chip ID. Thank you for watching. Further projects are coming with RISC-V processors. I work on a design specification for a CNC board. The board will have digital input and stepper motor drivers. There will be one or multiple RISC processors in it. I hope to see you in the future.